G'day there everyone, Arnie here again. Uh, so glad you could join us for a very special Christmas Arnie Shack. Uh, so settle down, uh, get yourself comfortable and enjoy Christmas at the Shack. here and that means lots of cards and presents. There might even be a card from my best friend Shelly. We'll soon find out. Here comes Postman PJ. Hi Shane. Hi Kelly. Are you expecting some mail? Yeah. Is there any mail Postman PJ? Here is a letter from overseas. From someone very special to you. Who? Who? Well, why don't you have a look? Oh, cool! It's a letter from Dad! Hey, Mum! Mum! It's a letter from Dad! Balloon Kaboom! G'day, kids, and welcome along to our Christmas Balloon Kaboom! And again, I've got my friend with me here, Pastor Darren. Uh, Merry Christmas, Pastor Darren. Merry Christmas, Arnie, to you too. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. Welcome along again. Uh, what are we going to be making today on our uh, Christmas balloon kaboom? Well, today, Arnie, I have a red balloon. Right. And seeing it's Christmas, I thought I'll make a special Christmas balloon. A special Christmas balloon. That's right. Mm. So I'm going to inflate the red balloon. Right. This should be good, kids. Uh, you need to guess what he's making, remember? That's right. i tie it off. Right. I'm going to start with the head. Yeah. Now, red. Red, that's right, and lots of bubbles on top of its head. Lots of bubbles. Well, it's not a post box. A what? Not a post box. A post box, no, not a post box. No. Um, I love getting mail at Christmas time. Yeah, it's great to get cards and stuff. It's not a fire hydrant. Not a fire hydrant. No. Can you guess, boys and girls? Yeah, do you think you know what it is? Four, five bubbles. Five bubbles. Is it an animal? It's an animal. Oh, right. 
Okay, there's its head. Can you see its head? Right. Lots of bubbles on top. That's a big clue. Now the neck. The neck. And the front leg. Yeah, and a right. uh, hoof. A hoof. I think that's a clue, our boys and girls. That's right. Big clue. <laughs> front legs. And the body. And the back legs. All right. And a hoof. And a hoof. Another hoof. That's right. And leave a small tail. Only, only a small tail. Now, I need my texter. Right. Now you're going to put some eyes and a mouth. You're spot on. Another eye. And he's got a lovely red nose. A uh, red nose. Can you guess what it is, Arnie? Um, uh, maybe a red kangaroo. No, it's not a red kangaroo. Mm. It's got these things on top of its head. Can you see, boys and girls? They're called antlers. Um, oh, maybe an ant. No, it's not an ant. Uh, it said antlers. Oh, antlers. Ant. I know what it is. It's a reindeer. You're right. It's a reindeer. Yeah. You, you know, uh, Doreen called that out to me the other day. Did she? Yeah, yeah. she said, it's reindeer. Oh, <laughs> she meant it's raining. No, this oh. is a reindeer. Yeah, right. Oh, it's an animal. That's right. In fact, there's a traditional story told about a reindeer, a special reindeer called Rudolph. Heard that story? Yeah, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. That's right. He was picked on by all the other reindeer. They didn't like him. You ever been picked on, Arnie? Yeah, oh, when I was younger. Not very nice, is it? Picked no. on or teased. Well, he was picked on and teased. They wouldn't even let him play their games. But one night, Santa came and said, Rudolph? You're just the reindeer I want for my sleigh tonight. And so Rudolph, because of his special red nose, was able to lead that sleigh. You know what that teaches me? That we each have special gifts and special abilities. And even if we don't realise it yet, we have something that we can give to God. Yeah, everyone has that. That's I, right. I like to farm. And I like to make balloon animals and mm -hmm. be a pastor. I know that every boy and girl out there has a special gift. Absolutely. And this Christmas time, let's all use our gifts for Jesus. I'm going to. I'm going to too. Yeah. And I hope the kids do too. Want to take this reindeer and give it to Ranger Hardy? Oh, I'd love to. He, he likes reindeers because he really likes Christmas. And tell him all about using his special gifts too. Oh, I will, and, and, and he does. So anyway, kids, um, oh, we've got to go now. So from Balloon Kaboom, uh, we'll see you next time, okay? I'll see ya. Bye, Arnie. Merry Christmas. See you, Pastor Darren. Oh, I'm going to take this to um, Ranger Hardy right now. I think you'll like it. See ya. <laughs>125 grams of butter, half a cup of icing sugar, and one teaspoon of vanilla essence. Then mix these three ingredients together. Then beat these three ingredients together until they're smooth and creamy.
The next ingredients are one cup of plain flour and a quarter of a cup of corn flour. Then mix them all together. Roll it out between two sheets of baking paper. Now you use your Christmas tree cookie cutter to make Christmas tree cookies. When they're all on the tray, put them in the oven to bake for 10 minutes at 180 degrees until they're golden brown. Now that they've been baked, I can make some icing to decorate them with. You will need half a cup of icing, sugar, and a couple of drops of water. Mix them together. Now I'm going to add some green food colouring to the mixture. I've also made some red icing mixture. Now I'm going to decorate the cookies. The best part about cooking is that you get to eat afterwards. Mm. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Time for Christmas part three. Hi kids, you look so excited. What was in that letter? Dad is coming home. He might even be home for Christmas. Mummy's so excited and I can hardly wait. That reminds me of another time when the whole world was waiting for someone. Was it just like we've been waiting for Dad, PJ? Sort of, but the whole world had been waiting for thousands of years for one very special person. Tell us a story, PJ. Well, over 2,000 years ago, a very special baby 
was promised to the world. Why was he promised? He was promised to the world ever since the first sin happened in the Garden of Eden. Is that when Eve ate that rotten apple? That's right. The world needed someone to save us from all our sins. And so it was promised that Jesus would come. And did he come? Sure did, right on time. Mary had been told by an angel that she was going to have the promised baby. Then Caesar Augustus issued a law that everyone had to go to their town of birth to be counted. So Mary and Joseph had to go to the town of Bethlehem. When they got there, there was no room in the motel. The only place for them to sleep in was a stable. A stable? Ah, uh, that's smelly. It probably was. And that night, the baby was born. What did they call him? They called him Jesus, because he was going to save the whole world from their sins. Did the whole world rejoice? Many didn't realize, but the wise men had been waiting for him. They traveled to see him bringing gifts. And the shepherds were told by the angel that the long-awaited baby had finally arrived. And so they went to see him. Before long, everyone knew about him. And so the tradition of Christmas began. I'm so glad that Jesus came. I hope that Dad comes too. Check it out with Ranger Hardy. G'day, Ranger Hardy here again. And Merry Christmas to you. Since it's Christmas time, I thought I'd go and have a look at some deer. These deer are called fallow deer. The female is called a doe. Isn't she a lovely looking animal? I love the spots on her back. She certainly is very pretty. Look at the way her big ears keep twitching and moving, always listening out for danger. See her hoof? She has a divided toe, just like a cow does. This is a white deer. This one is a friendly little creature. Look at the way she's eating out of my hand. The male deer is called a stag. The stag has big strong antlers to protect his herd. Each year these antlers fall off and then they grow a new set. This stag has only one antler at the moment, but he'll grow a new set soon. See the stag protecting his herd from danger? Well, deer are some of the sensational creatures God has made. I really enjoyed spending some time with them today. Maybe next time you're out in nature, you'll be lucky enough to see one. Anyway, gotta go now. Gotta keep up with that tight schedule. So have a sensational Christmas. I'll catch you later. Bye. Home for Christmas, part four. Kelly, Shane, it's time to get ready for bed. Aww. Uh, what's the matter, Shane? Uh, you're looking pretty sad. I was really hoping that Dad would be home for Christmas. It seems like we've been waiting for so long. Uh, I'm sure he'll make it home for Christmas if he can, uh, because he really loves his family, and Christmas is the time for families to be together. Uh, here are some Christmas cookies and milk. Uh, enough for everyone. Oh, I say enough for everyone. Uh, let's hear the Christmas story before we all go to bed. Uh, I say before we all go to bed. I know the story. The whole world was waiting for Jesus, just like we're waiting for Dad. Yeah, that's true. Uh, Jesus came just as promised uh, when the whole world was waiting for him. Uh, the angel said, A peace on earth and goodwill to all men. Is that why Christmas is all about families being together? And everyone goes home for Christmas? Uh, yes, everyone loves to be home for Christmas. Uh, but if they can't be at home, uh, they love to think about home at Christmas time. Uh, I wonder who that could be. Oh, I say, I wonder who that could be. Oh, Dad, Dad, you're home. Daddy, Daddy. G'day all, I'm home for Christmas. I just knew you would make it. Uh, welcome home, Bruce. Uh, it's good to have you back. Now, my Christmas is complete. This 
is going to be the best Christmas ever. Oh, I say, oh, I think I'll go and get some more milk and cookies. Yes, yeah, some more milk and cookies. Oh, I think tonight's going to be a great night. It's just so good to be home for Christmas. Fantastic that Bruce came home for Christmas. Uh, did you see how happy everyone was uh, when the family was together? It reminds me of the time I'm really looking forward to uh, when we can all have that special homecoming with Jesus. Uh, that's going to be uh, so fantastic. Uh, in the Bible, in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, uh, it says, uh, The Lord himself will come down from heaven. Uh, there will be a loud command with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God. Uh, when Jesus comes back, it's going to be even better than Christmas. Uh, oh, I'm so glad we can remember Jesus at Christmas time, uh, how he came to earth as a baby uh, just for us. Uh, and we can all look forward uh, to the best homecoming ever. Uh, anyway, uh, catch you all later. Merry Christmas.
going to. We'll see you back at the shack with Annie again. We'll be looking out for you. We'll see you back at the shack with Annie again. We're gonna have a good time too. We'll be looking out for you. When we're back at the shack, back at the shack, back at the shack. Uh, we'll see you later, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we've had lots of fun, and we'll see you back at the shack uh, next time. Uh, catch you later. Uh, God bless. Uh, Merry Christmas. Arnie's Shack has been proudly brought to you by Abide Family Ministries a self-supporting ministry dedicated to promoting positive Christian values. To purchase Abide products or to support our ongoing ministry, visit us online at abide.com.au or write to us at PO Box 155 Morissette, New South Wales 2264 Australia.